Hey you guys, it's your girl T. So I wanted to come on here and tell you guys about a really nice feel good story. Cause I know we always have a lot of ratchet news and crazy news, but every now and then when I do run across a feel good story, I do like to report on this. And this story made me feel good from the inside out, okay? So what's going down is that basically the story is coming from Looney Ass, Louisiana. Yes, Louisiana has a name on this channel. So what went down is that we have an 18 year old young man. His name is Devin Washington. And he went to go apply for a job at Popeye's Chicken. So once he got done with his interview, he found out that he was gonna get the job. And before he could even celebrate being an employee of Popeye's, a man comes into the restaurant to rob the restaurant. So this young man, Devin basically steps up and he ends up helping his future co-workers during this robbery attempt. So this entire situation is crazy. I want you guys to go ahead and check out this news clip and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. We tell you about a local business getting robbed and how the suspect got away after terrorizing workers. But tonight, an 18 year old New Orleans East teenager is being hailed as a hero for what he did at a local Popeye's restaurant. And as Winton Yates explains, all the young man wanted to do was to get a job. On Saturday around 1 in the afternoon, 18-year-old Devin Washington was just finishing up a nerve-wracking job interview at Popeye's with assistant manager Monique Griffin. We had not already explained to him that he had the job. Before he could take a breath to celebrate his new job. She yelled, oh my God, we're being robbed. And I thought it was a joke, so I'm just sitting there. Tatiana Pollard was working the cash register when a customer asked her for change. As I'm opening the drawer, he jumped across the counter and stuck his hand in and tried to grab all my ones. As she constantly slamming his hands, when he come up, he had the funds in his hand. And my instant reaction just grabbed his hand and him and I went over. That's when this six foot three, 315 pound former football player turned and asked permission to help. He was like, y'all want me help? I said, yeah, I need your help. And then I just got up and I went to him and I got him. Like by like right here by his own. Did he tussle with you? Oh yeah, he, he put up a good enough fight. <laughs> he tried to like, you know, get through. And I guess he realized he wasn't knowing no one, so then he was like, no why, he just give up. Devin was able to hold the suspect for five minutes until NOPD arrived. Devin tells me that his dream job is to one day be a professional chef with his own restaurant, but I don't think he planned on starting his culinary career by stopping a crime. I just felt like I need to help, like, do something. I'm a big person sitting there, like, I need to do something. As big as he is, he's got a smile to match. Winton Yates, Eyewitness News. The suspect arrested was identified as Pablo Siscar. He was booked on charges of simple robbery and fugitive attack. You guys just watched that news clip, and I, for one, am very proud of that young man. Kudos to you. And I really like this story because it shows you that a lot of young men out here, they want the opportunity to go to work and have jobs. It's just that, unfortunately, a lot of jobs can be scarce in certain areas. He's out here pounding the pavement, going to job interviews, and he eventually gets the job. And like he said, instead of just standing there and watching these two women try to wrestle this guy, and he stepped in at over 300 pounds, he's six foot three, and he stepped in to hold that guy because had that guy gotten away with the money, he basically would have took all the money that they had earned for that day, which was close to about three to $400. So he basically saved the restaurant from losing out on that money. So I'm really, really proud of this young man. So like I said, it's always nice to have a good positive story on my channel, especially when I see young men doing the right thing. So once again, kudos to Devin Washington for stepping up and helping out his new employer. So anyways, go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire story. That's once again coming from Looney, Louisiana. All right, deuces. Hey you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.